Alrighty guys, welcome back to the episode here from the Back to Beta server. And in the last episode, we made a start on adding the murals, the pixel art murals that you guys have submitted to me to uh, to add to this side of the base. And uh, they look great. Now I've made a couple of adjustments to uh, the first two that we've added. Firstly, I forgot to add the sun uh, in Bagarilla's one, which nobody pointed out. But uh, yeah, I just remembered um, that there was meant to be a sun there. And then on this one, uh, the deadly dirt block mentioned that the uh, the wool that was here, the light grey wool that was here, um, didn't really create the amount of contrast necessary to kind of uh, push push this back. Now in the in the pixel art that I was sent it did, um, but because this is, I think that may have been done, it was done in like a, a program and then maybe done in a different version with a different texture pack, it didn't, it didn't translate uh, as vibrant um, on the uh, on the server itself in beta 1.7.3. So he suggested adding stone, which I think looks much better. Um, it definitely creates that contrast that I think was uh, part of the original vision. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I've also changed these signs over here to be um, a bit more clear. So it says made by, um, you know, Scooter and made by Bagarilla over there. So uh, yeah, we've kind of uh, touched these up a bit and it looks cool. Now in this video today, we're going to be working on the next mini game inside the uh, inside the stadium. Uh, but I have between episodes collected all the resources we're going to need for the next mural. So I think we're actually going to start this episode by building this mural up, and then we'll move on to uh, to inside the stadium. So let me quickly get this done, and I'll show you what that looks like. Ooh. All right, but here we go. Here is the finished product, and it looks awesome. Now, this was sent to me by Reezy Peasy. Uh, there we go. Made by Reezy Peasy um, on Discord, and yeah, I really like this one. This one's really cool. It's got a couple of references to uh, builds on the server, so the uh, the train station and my train from the uh, Christmas area coming out of the train station, which is <laughs> I, I really like that. It's really cool. Now, uh, it's also got uh, B2B, um, we'll ignore that the 2 isn't part of our thing, but it's, yeah, it's a cool little, it's a cool little, you know, wordplay kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the one change I made to the original uh, was this block here was meant to be uh, black wool, but I changed it to obsidian. Um, I think that the real thing has obsidian, so... Uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd, I'd change it to that, but this one's really cool. I really like the, uh, the, the additions, especially because these two builds I, I actually worked on quite a bit. So, yeah, really cool. Thank you, Reezy Peasy. Really appreciate it. Oh, so one other detail I wanted to mention that I kind of, uh, kind of noticed after building these was, uh, they kind of, these three kind of tell a story. I don't know if you can guess what that story is. If you can guess what the story is, leave it in the comments. Alright, the story is that the sun is rising in the morning over here, and then it's like kind of during the day, kind of almost starting to set in this one, and then it's like setting in this one. It's like kind of darker, it's getting darker, it's night time, and the train's leaving. That's the story. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks for easy peasy. This one is really cool, and it's a really nice addition. This place is starting to look really cool now that there's, uh, there's more murals, and I can't wait to add more. So yeah, W's. And I just realized after rewatching that recording, I missed a whole bunch of buttons along here. So let me quickly rectify that situation. Boom. Perfect. There we go. Now it's all complete. And that looks great. Very cool. Alright, but moving on to what I want to work on in today's video. Uh, the first mini game we made was Spleef, and that was, uh, that was a little bit ago now, and uh, that was a huge success. I was very happy with how that all ended up. Um, this, I'm not sure if I've shown this off yet, this progress. I um, made this whole ground grass, because this next game we're going to be building is like paintball, or I guess like a, a bow PvP. 
uh, a bow PvP kind of arena, and I want this to be like kind of like a foresty kind of, I don't know, like a log, log cabin kind of thing here with uh, maybe like a river cutting through or something. Um, and yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be like 2v2, maybe like maybe 4v4 sort of thing. Um, and I want to, uh, in this episode, I just want to build up the aesthetics. I'm just going to, um, yeah, make the aesthetics and, and see how that looks. And then um, maybe, maybe in the next episode or um, yeah, sort of in the future, I want to add like... Um, sort of dispensers that are in the ground with uh, uh, that will dispense materials or different items like that could be useful for a player things like that but uh, that's gonna be quite complicated so we'll get to that you might also notice there's a hole in the ground here and that's because underneath here is a skeleton spawner and I wanna also rig it so that that can be like a PVE sort of thing um, so we can sort of store skeletons somewhere and then have them shoot up here and uh, you know fight the player and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. But the first thing we're going to do is, uh, yeah, start with the aesthetics on this. And, uh, yeah, I think I might get Docsbot over to help me out with this. Uh -huh. Alright, come with me. Come with me, Doc. Yeah, I think I counted, like, is it? Is this like 12 chunks long? I have no idea. It's at least one. Really? Oh, hold on. This is new. Yeah. Come on. I swear to god, I can log off for like two days and log back on and you've got something just fucking completely new. <laughs> well this isn't much, okay. but it would be cool it would be cool to, to, to uh, get some help on this because I feel like I feel like you'd you'd be able to help me with this. So what I want this to be, yeah, there's like a hole to a skeleton spawner down there. Um, which I need to sort out where that hole's gonna be and things like that. But so what I want this to be is like a um like a paintball arena, and by paintball I mean like bow battle arena. Um, now the vision, the vision is I want there to be like a like a stone, a stone slash like log cabin thing kind of like here, that kind of like it kind of here, right? A kind of decent size, like a like a small to medium sized kind of cabin. And then I need, like, I want boulders around the place and trees, like, obstructions, right? So that you can kind of hide yeah. behind things and it's kind of a bit more interesting. Um, and then this will be, like, a little dispenser of uh, skeletons, which I'll find a place for at some point. And then I'm also going to put, like, dispensers in the floor, but we'll get to that later. But, yeah, thoughts on thoughts on helping with, it, helping with this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I want to help. Cool. I want to make trees. I want to drop trees? down the hole. Uh, I mean, you can drop I'm down the hole. Yeah. Uncrouch real quick. <coughs> ah. It deleted my torch. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, because when water hits oh. things from the top, they delete them. Remember when Whammy accidentally deleted? That's right. Does that work? I think so. Ooh. <laughs> it, 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 it did not work. Why does my spawn point set to your bed? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why is it set to my bed? I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay, so that's. I don't know. I don't know. Like this is just a random shape of the cabin. Like, but this is kind of the idea. So see how there's like the gaps that I've left. These are where the doors are gonna be. So like it's kind of, okay. you can enter in one side and enter in the other. So like, this is so each player is going to start on one end. So one player is going to start on this end, and then one player is going to start on the other end. So think of this as like half and half, of like the field okay. almost. But I don't really know how to make this balanced or anything. But we're just gonna just gonna gonna game. Who cares about balancing as long as it's fun? That is true. Oh fuck. <laughs> Did you die? That fucking hole. <laughs> yes, I died. I wonder if that that cabin, I think, may be a little big compared to what I kind of want. Is what I'm thinking. Tear it down. Tear it down. Alright. Yeah, I think maybe around that size. If you want to change its shape up a, a bit, I think that's cool. What do you think so far? He looks like shit. Oh, I don't mind it. Looks good. I like the detailing. Are you are you planning on blocking off all that top part? Could be interesting to actually leave that open as like a sniping range. 
Although that might that's be OP I'm for the first person up. Is that what you were thinking? Oh my god, you're so smart. Yeah. I'm thinking as if I'm making a Call of Duty map, I'm gonna be honest. That's actually kind of exactly where my brain is kind of out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's cool. Why I'm using sandstone so I was gonna put glass, but then I was like. Mm. Oh, you know what? It could be like an abandoned one. I can board off some windows. Yeah. Like one that would be too OP. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Smart. Alright, cool. So we've got a little river in there. That's cute. That's cute. Um, okay. found another egg. That's cool. That's cool. Um, now I want, like, kind of trees and boulders and obstacles. So I might grab some cobblestone, some mossy cobblestone. I'm going to put the boulders in first, I think. And we'll save the trees for last. We get to high five along as we pass each other. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Take me on a tour of your, of your of your build, your latest build on Back to Beta. There's nothing. Oh, nice. Of that's that's good. I like this. Yeah, this is this is cool. So I thought about like, uh, the reason I left corners open like this, and I wouldn't add like, uh, the reason I wouldn't do this is so no one can camp. Yeah, yeah. That way it balances it ba yeah. balances it out yeah. for everyone there. That's and smart. this way, you can't camp under the stairs because you can still get reached from there. Yeah. Stuff like that. Smart. Smart. Very good. Nice. The oh, this is a good... Very open. Good views. This oh, one... Yeah. Okay, you can shoot from there. You can get down there. That's good. That's boarded up. Shoot through these rocks here. That and you can also, is... like, if you... Like, if you come all the way back here, like... You can get some like interesting oh, yeah. shots if you really like try. So it'll reward skill. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, I see. And then there's the open like little balcony area over here. Oh yeah, this is where good. you're vulnerable, but you get a lot of sight. Yeah. So that's kind of good. All right, I like it. I may like I'll, I might adjust. Like, oh yeah, feel some free. things this a little bit. Base. We'll see. We'll we'll see how it all ends up turning out. Um, but no, it's good. Good start. I like it. Uh, hey, this looks cool uh, from up here. Definitely won't be able to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to. I, like I need to add like a tree cover now. Feel free to feel free to help if you like. This is a collaborative effort. Yeah, you see the house that's built there. You know who built that? Captain Cat. What do you think, Ryan? Do you think this needs like more? Like, what do you what do you, what do you think of this place? Uh -huh. Like, do you think it needs more, like, tree I think, I think cover, or, like... good. I think this... I feel like this... Get rid of that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it needs another high point. Like a tower or something. Like, somewhere over here, maybe. Sorry, what? Mm. I think right. it needs, like, a tower. Somewhere over here. Over this side? Yeah, like, just another high point, an advantage point. Actually, yeah, Looking at the house. Probably a good idea. Oh, this is okay. It looks really good in the shower. Check this out. Check this out, Ryan. This is actually kind of good. You can like climb up here, and then like stand in this spot here. It's actually a pretty good spot. You should check it out. Huh? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think that's cool. It needs a way. It needs a way that it's not too OP. Like somehow, you can like get shot at from behind. Maybe I don't know. No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you Otherwise, right. you could just camp up there. That is true. Break that out, maybe like that, and then there's like a leaf block there. Yeah, so you, it's you can shoot up at their feet, but you can't. It's harder to shoot down. Yeah, I think that's good. Right there. Yeah, I think that's good. Thoughts? Uh, I think that'll be good. It's a little harder to shoot down, but like you don't have yeah, much visibility. I like that. <laughs> we did, get sorry. taken from both sides. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that's, it. That's good. He's like a stepping stone, maybe. Mm, no, mm. I kind of mm. like the idea that you have, like, if you if you want to jump in the water, like if you want to get across, you either have to jump in the water or you have to take this one bridge. That's yeah. Here. Yeah, that's smart actually. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like maybe this is a bit open, but maybe it's good. Like, my original vision was to have it a bit more enclosed, but maybe this is actually quite good. I don't know. 
Does it look I guess like it works. Here? You are going to get shot to shit here, though. Yeah. Yeah, like, what's the advantage of going over there? I want there to be a reason. I think, I think possibly the reason... Like, my, my, my incentives for going certain places will be linked to, like, certain items. So, like, if you're... Yeah. Um, like, over here, there might be a dispenser with armor or, like, food, you know? Mm -hmm. um, whereas, like, mm -hmm. dispensers inside will only dispense maybe, like... I don't know. I, I think, uh, actually, Doc had a good idea to have, like, um, feathers and um, sh uh, sticks and things dispensed, so you can actually craft um, arrows. So maybe inside yeah. the house you have to craft the arrows, but and you you get less. Whereas outside you get like directly dispensed arrows, you know. So like that's, yeah, that's a good idea. It gives you incentive to go in and out, kind of thing. All right. I think this is a cool effect having like the different colors of like leaves yeah I think that's a cool effect I'd like to do that for all the trees but I feel like that's a that's a massive pain in the ass to do so I might not do that oh but it looks so good Ryan come tell me come tell me what you think like this bush with the different that's leaf nice colors bush. yeah with the le with the different leaf colors right yeah, yeah but doing that like on every tree you know I think. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. But it's just like a lot. That's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna leave that there and kind of think about it. I think it. I think it would look really cool. But ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do it. <laughs> Go on, do it. Yeah, I'll fucking do it. All right, but the aesthetics to the bow PVP arena are done. Thank you so much to Doc and uh, Ryan for coming and helping out and uh, keeping me company while we uh, while we build this. This is really cool. Um, a special thanks to Doc for actually building the, uh, the the little wooden shack here. I think this looks great. It's kind of perfect. It's kind of, it's honestly better than I than I than I kind of envisioned. So that was huge. Um, but yeah, yeah, you guys saw sort of the uh, the kind of little process that we kind of went through um, the order of events, like building this thing. Um, yeah, and I'll take you through a little bit of a tour, I guess. So, um, each player, I think, like, in my mind, I think it's kind of like a 2v, uh, 1v1 sort of thing. But we'll see. We might add, like, more players eventually. But anyway, I kind of imagine one player will start on this side, one on that side. And, uh, yeah, you've got little rocks, um, sort of everywhere. There's, uh, sort of rocks here, rocks here. There's, there's little strategical rocks everywhere to kind of hide and, and you know, look around and things, um, and obviously there's, there's trees and shrubbery everywhere, um, this one you would have seen, uh, you know, is a little tactical position there, which is cool, we've got hidden lighting everywhere, which I, um, I added as sort of the last thing, there's hidden lighting in the, in the ground, I think the sun's going down, so we'll probably see that soon, um, I did end up going through all the trees and adding, uh, the kind of detailing of adding different, uh, different colored leaves to all the uh, all the trees which I think is a good touch I'm glad I did that uh, this is the skeleton hole it's still covered up haven't decided where that's going yet um, yeah you guys see that there's the uh, there's the river in between I think this is a good obstacle there's not I don't think there's any places where you can actually jump jump across without landing in the water so every time you land in the water you've got you know a chance of getting getting caught caught up in it or spotted um, and then there's just this bridge here that um, is a little bit broken down so even if you're trying to cross it you could probably get shot into like here and then you're probably screwed so yeah um and yeah inside the house i mean i did a little bit of detailing on the exterior of the house after doc finished up with it which i quite like um and yeah the inside i kind of wanted to leave the inside quite open and, and blank like it's meant to be you know it's meant to be a bit of a bit of a facade almost um it's not really meant to be a a, a build um we do have this crafting table here. This is going to be the, the crafting table you use to, to make your arrows and things. Um, I wonder if it should be maybe down here because you'll have to be, you you might have to be a little more vul vulnerable while you while you're crafting. 
Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to test it out. But yeah, you've got little good vantage points here to uh, to kind of look out. That's over where the tree is, so you can kind of have like a across the, the heights bow battle, which is cool. It's kind of worked out perfectly, the height, which is cool. There's a happy little accident there. And then, uh, yeah, this little balcony, which is cool. Maybe there should be another another one there, like another um, hidey spot in that tree there, maybe. I don't know. So you can kind of snipe. So if, if you're up here... Like, because if you're down there, you can't shoot this this person who's up here, so it might be worth getting that there. I'm not sure. But I really like the way this turned out. I'm really happy. Um, I, yeah, it turned out much better than I expected. We've even got the, uh, the hidden lighting in, which is really cool. And I think this looks really cool from above and at night. So, yeah, I do have my brightness turned up. So even if I turn it down, although mobs probably can spawn, yep, there they are. Um, I do think, I do think overall it, it looks good. I don't think any... I don't think we'll be playing this at night at any time. Maybe maybe the only time we'd have to play it at night is the PvE, because obviously the skeleton's going to burn during the day. But, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. But I really like the aesthetics of this place. And, yeah, thanks again to Doc and Ryan for, for helping out and keeping company. So, yeah, I, I really hope you guys like the like the look of this place. It's, it's cool to look at it from all the angles as well. Um, I wanted it to be enclosed enough so you feel like you know you're immersed in it and you're you're when you're inside the arena like you feel like you're in it you know you don't feel like there's a there's a big grandstand around you and, and spectator around you um and i think i i think we did a good job with that um but then i also wanted it open enough so that you know if you were spectating from above or like from around the sides uh you know you can you can look in and see it so yeah Really cool. I really like the way this looks, and I can't wait to play it. Um, the next step is obviously adding all the uh, dispensers and things like that, all the redstone. Um, but that's gonna, that's definitely gonna wait um, until another episode because I think that's gonna be a ginormous project. Um, a bit of balancing and a, and a, and a bit of like kind of maybe complicated redstone. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty guys, but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you stuck around to the end, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any ideas on any additions or, you know, any thoughts on the build, uh, let me know. I'm so open to suggestions. Um, you know, this may not be perfect. So, yeah, definitely, definitely let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, no, laters. <laughs> Also, thank you, Reezy Peasy, for the uh, awesome pixel art. It's really cool and a great addition, so thank you very much. All right, laters for real now.